Number 29 here is asking us to take the derivative of y equals inverse secant of x and then evaluate that derivative here at x equals 4. So this is already in a really good form to just get started in, so let's dive in. We've got dy dx is equal to, and the derivative of inverse secant of x, this one is right in your notes there, guys. This is going to be a 1 over, and now this is where uh, they, they start to get a little bit tricky right here. It's the absolute value of u, whatever this ratio is, so it's the absolute value of x and then multiplied now by the square root of u squared minus 1. So that's an x squared minus 1 in this case. And you would now multiply it by the derivative of u taken with respect to x. But since our ratio here of the inverse secant is just an x, dx dx is just 1, and that doesn't really accomplish anything. So again, we can get away with ignoring or forgetting the chain rule if that ratio is just something with a derivative of 1. Now that derivative cannot be simplified any further than it is. That's why we, we wrote it that way in our notes. So now we just have to evaluate it when x is 4 and then simplify that answer as best we can. So our derivative evaluated at x equals 4. Let's see what that looks like, everybody. We've got a 1 over. Now we have an absolute value of 4 in front, and let's go ahead and do that, guys. The absolute value of 4 is just 4, so there's no need to dilly-dally and keep that absolute value there. Times the square root of, this becomes a 4 squared, 16 minus 1, boom, and that's a root 15 right there. And that you guys, is not a very pretty answer, but according to the rules that we've been following all year here, guys, uh, as far as what AP requires you to do in terms of simplification, this answer is perfectly fine. It is okay at this level, you guys, uh, to leave a radical in the denominator. Now, last year, you probably were taught not to do that, so you would have multiplied maybe both the top and the bottom by the square root of 15. So if you did that, let's see, your answer would now be the square root of 15 over uh, root 15 times root 15 is 15 times 4 is 60. So if you had this answer, that is also completely correct, and you would get full credit for that. But I'd really encourage you guys not to make more work or more trouble for yourself here than you need to. It's okay to leave that radical in the denominator in AP Calc. And I do need to point out, if you tried to rationalize your denominator and you made a mistake here down on the bottom, you would lose a point on that because you did something then that wasn't equivalent to the correct answer. So probably better just to leave it right here and call good enough uh, as it is right there. So there's number 29.